What is up guys, uh, Mr. Recons here, uh, today I'm going to be doing a rollercoaster tycoon 2 let's play. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while now, uh, I just really haven't had the time for it. Um, yes, this game is by far one of my most, uh, one of my most favourite old time games. Uh, it's just the simplicity of it. I mean, you've got like thousands of these little monkey things running around, actually humans. Um, so yeah, this game is a lot of fun. If you're, if you're a 90s kid and you never played this, uh, shame on you, that's all I've got to say. So we're going to start off with the beginner's park. Uh, crazy castle, I think, we're going to work our way up. So, it's a lot of... I currently just have the um, the one without the uh, expansion, it's just the, just the regular one. So, let's start off with this one, crazy castle. That one, that one's easy to do, I guess. Uh, so I read out the objectives. Uh, to have at least 1,500 guests in your park at the end of October year 4, with a park rating of 600. Now that's really relatively easy, um, begin, uh, because considering you've got a lot of space uh, to do it, and yeah, and you've got a fair amount of cash. You usually always start off with ten thousand. I don't think you can actually. Um, I think most parks you start off with ten thousand. Maybe all of them. I can't remember. Now. So first thing I'm just going to do is get rid of these paths, because oh, they want to get rid of that tree. Uh, just the reason for it, because uh, your guests tend to walk around the outside perimeter of the castle, and then they tell uh, tell me that they're annoyed because they're lost when it's their own own goddamn fault. So I'm just gonna fix that straight away. Um, saves me picking them up individually. I'm just gonna look at that. Okay, We've got customers pouring in already. Um, another thing I want to do is get rid of this this area uh, because it's not needed. Thing is, with this game, as much as as good as it is, the AI can be a little bit retarded at sometimes because you build you build these two uh, I don't know, call them square square foot. I don't know two uh, two block roads like this, and they tend to get lost somehow pretty easily so what I'm going to do is just make this a single road and I'm actually kind of tempted to um, uh, just replace this with uh, oh hold up I need, uh, need that oh there cool um, yeah I'm actually kind of tempted to make this all stone like the same as that but we'll leave it for now you can always do that later so I'm going to start off with a merry-go-round, keep it easy and simple. Um, I don't want to do this. Put that there. Yeah, that work. I like the music. Bringing back memories. I don't want the line. Um, you don't make the lines too big on the merry-go-round, just because it's um, it's. It's a ride that kind of goes on for a little bit, so if, if you get a line of customers just lining up for that, they get aggravated and that's how your park rating goes down, so make it semi-big but not too big. Uh, park rides that you can do uh, big lines for is like roller coasters and stuff that only goes for a short time. Uh, Twister, yes, that's pretty easy, easy cash as well. Now I believe, actually, let me just check again. I think we pay to get in. Nope, my mistake. No, you pay for rides. So actually, how much is this? I'm gonna put it up. Dollar fifty, and I'm gonna put a twister in as well. Um, get some exciting rides in here. Actually, where do I wanna put this? Maybe I should make this like the area where like the um, like the rides, like the twister and that can go to. Oh, I got a good idea. I can do that. Like that. And another path. Oh, beautiful. Lovely. And let's put... Uh, don't want the name to be one. Make that... Two dollars. That's fair. Okay, so now we got two rides. And... Already my pipe rating's flying up the roof. <laughs> so now I'm actually going to put in some um, food stalls and stuff. So uh, I guess don't get too hungry. So we can put in. Hmm, let's get a wind stall going, and we're gonna make that adjacent to it. So 
uh, when they come out the merry and the film package, they can just buy a wiener. <laughs> So, uh, I'm going to get some drink stalls going as well. I like to make areas like this, like the, the starting area, well not the starting area, but the main area. I always like to have um, a build up of shops like this, some food stalls and stuff. And actually, I want to get an uh, information kiosk. Let's put that, oh god, there. And how much are the umbrellas? Yeah, keep that the same. I'm actually going to put the price down on the, on the, uh, on the maps for 20 cents. You don't want to overprice people on just um, on maps. It's, you know, the cheaper it is, uh, the less they get lost, the better your park rating goes up and more well, customers find. Okay, so now we've got some jolly old customers coming in. Um, soon we'll be wondering about. They're probably begging for me to make a roller coaster, so I might do that now. Build our first roller coaster. Damn it, I want to get rid of that tree. Okay, so let's start with a roller coaster. Um, um, these are good to make. These are cheap and uh, they can, if you make them right, they can be um, quite fun. So I'm going to put that stuff here. So. How high do I want to make, want to make this? I mean, 65 foot, you know? Actually, yeah, no, no. So, damn trees. Come up. And come down. Now, when you're building roller coasters, you want to keep an eye on how high it is. So this is 65 foot, 45, so that should clear that easily. So then that's 50 foot. Um, for the momentum of it coming down and coming over here, I think it's not going to make that. It could, it could, but it might be really slow. So I'm going to actually bring it up. That's so 45 foot, same as that one. And no, actually, I want to go that way. Go that way. Let's make a nice big bend. Yeah, 40 foot. Uh, come down. Oh wow, it's already raining. Now I don't want this thing to be mammoth size, so I'm gonna come back here. Actually, I'm gonna... I got the safest sparkle wood. I, I only just opened it. So and make a Block break. So that's kind of cute. It's, it's uh, small and it's, it's inexpensive. I think I started about nine, uh, nine thousand. So pretty, pretty cute. Uh, I don't want yellow. Yellow's kind of kind of ugh. So I want actually maroon. Yeah, that's pretty. Cute. Like a white. Oh yeah, you can change the um the. In the Whatever you call this thing. Nah, let's make it a castle. Ooh, Roman. Nah, this doesn't fit. Ah, oh, getting carried away here. Yeah, perfect. Oh yeah, but I've tested if it works. Actually, how many cars are in there? Nah, it's too many. Five. Oh, I've got to make the entrances. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, so the reason why you put uh, block breaks before the uh, the entrance back into the uh, the docking station is because um, sometimes the docking station can actually malfunction and what happens is the brakes don't work on them and when they come flying around here they uh, they crash into each other and kill your kids, which is bad. So all those people who like making uh, death parks, shame on you. You gotta take good care of your guests. They're precious. This is kind of cute. I mean, it's not. I don't think it's gonna win massively on the excitement scale. But in saying that, it's uh, it does like customers really, really love uh, the uh, ladybug ride. I got the ladybug ride. 